这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这People are the same wherever you go. Wherever you go, they are demented, and even more demented. Good, not, not in, in most people. Most people. But we learn to well, live. Well, what else can you do? You can only live, can't you? Well, we could die. To, we yeah, learn to, to die, die together. Can't we? Yeah. And what we, we need to survive. Like some food together, together to die. Together to, to die. die. Of course. Here we go. Our ebony. Tory. Oh, Tory. Yeah, and Labour. Yeah. Live together, live together in in, in Parliament. Parliament, in Parliament, in the House of Commons, yeah. side, side by side, side in Parliament, in chambers, in chambers, oh, in their offices. Yeah. Oh, oh Lord, Lord. oh Queenie, oh, why don't we? Well, why don't we, baby? Come on, now. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do. <laughs> Come on, clap right now. Come on, you blues. Come on, clap. And the reds. Come on. Here we go, baby. Happily. Labour. Tory. Living in perfect harmony. Globethus. Flatterthus. We all know. We all know. The people are the same wherever you go. They're all fucked off. <laughs> And so we demented, but we learn to live. We learn to tolerate. We learn to tolerate. We learn to give each other. Oh, what would you like to survive? The air that you breathe? Together we love. Oh, oh, Paul, you're such a lovely guy. Chelsea supporters and Arsenal. Live together in perfect harmony. Side by side on this. Football stadiums <laughs> and all the <laughs> goalposts. Why, Why don't, don't we they get together? Side by the side, side on their, their goalposts. <laughs> <laughs> Football fields. Why don't we they <laughs> get on and live in harmony yeah, yeah. and so everyone can be yeah, Labour, whether you're Labour, Tory. Welsh or oh, English. This song's so Scottish. This song's lovely, isn't it? What would the whether world be without whether you're Paul McCartney? Yeah. Whether you're foreign, Stevie foreign Wonder, or whether you're English. Here we go. Labour, Labour, Tory, Tory living, living in perfect harmony. Glow Thatcher, Minus, living oh, in perfect harmony. Glow with Thatcher, Arthur Scargill. <laughs> 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 Donald Trump, Trump. <laughs> Kim Jong Il. I mean, perfect. Oh, that's oh, why. Yeah. Oh, it's bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh dear. dear. I've got to admit, when you actually—I mean, I was—I oh, can't remember how old I was when that song came out, but you know, it's it's bollocks song, isn't it? When you think, well, it doesn't it. reflect reality, does it? It doesn't reflect reality, reality one because, little bit. because, one little because bit. even though you've got so many divisions in society, it doesn't matter whether it's an, a, based on your appearance, whether it's based on your views or attitudes. Whether it's based on your income. Whether it's based on your income, whether it's based on your social status, status. or anything. There's so many divisions and yet... Everybody's the same. Everyone's the same and yet everyone still holds these divisions um what's the word they still hold them to be there true in your face yeah well which uh, doesn't reflect the song yeah i know yeah you know i mean <laughs> what is the point of writing songs singing songs about everyone getting together living in harmony when they can't well, it's no different to a, a and also sorry, that's the point I was going to make. And also, when there, <coughs> when when there is essentially uh, within human behaviour an imbalance 
because Satan rules the world. Mm. So there's a lot of negativity. There's more negativity than positivity in man's world. You would agree with that. Yeah, but, but, but it's got to be balanced, though, isn't it? Um, it's got to uh, be balanced, even though... Like, oh, sure, yeah, of course. Like the continuum between like, mm. good and bad, for example. It may oh, but sway. people still have to be nice, don't they? They have to. Sometimes they have pretend. to bite. Yeah, they have to bite their lip oh, and look, pretend look. to get on with someone, look, even darling. though they don't want look, it. Or they don't like them. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, like look, darling. Look, we're going to go for dinner, Grandma, Grandma Father's. I know you can't stand oh, him. Oh, for fuck's sake! Just do we put have a smile. To? Just enjoy it. But I don't it. like him. Last time he he made fun of me, and I didn't like that. Well, don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'll, I'll keep an eye on I'll make sure he behaves himself. Well, I hope you fucking do, because I you get loads don't of want his stick this time. You get loads of that in, in families, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. In fighting, oh, God, God, bitching, God, arguing. Oh, dear. Absolutely. Christmas times are yeah, wonderful times for families. You know, it's surprising, to be honest with you, I'm surprised that when you see television um, programmes during Christmas time, um, they don't have people in solitary rooms, you know. Or but, they, you know, instead of having all these people together and united. Oh, well, you know, yeah, yeah. Or the, yeah. seeing the family around, around the fire at Christmas time, you just see the single people everywhere. Oh, well, yeah. yeah on they, their own, you that's the, Yeah, you go into the, the, the lounge for the Brexiters and the kitchen for the Remainers. Yeah, yeah I don't think you know you understand what I meant. What I mean is, is that you just see one person on the screen, on their own, right? On just on their own, because for a lot of people, that's the true reality of Christmas. They're just very lonely people. Oh, absolutely! Well, even, yeah, they that's, even that's spend quite, yeah. Christmas um, <clears throat> on their own, even though they might have their kids around them and the, uh, the, the mum and dad or whatever. <laughs> Them well, the grandparents down, they're down, down the screen or down on, on their phone. All they want to do is get the grub. Do you know what get, I mean? Get, in, get the grub and bugger off to the room and hide. Yeah, basically. Oh, I'm not pissed. putting up with them today. You've got to be joking. Heading off them last week. Yeah, last year. Up. Last year, last week, whenever. Yeah. Yeah. People are very intolerant well, there's even of other people. Well, there's even divisions within families. Abs even divisions within families. And we're going to talk about divisions because um, we've as our main thing. As yeah, our we've main entitled thing. this video in the uh, divided self, which is a term coined by a which famous is, um, psych, psych, well, psychiatrist, famous, well-known psychiatrist, well-known psychiatrist, Mr. Ronald Ronald Biggs, not oh, not Biggs, no Ronald Lang, Ronald Lang, or Lang. However you want to pronounce it. Laying. 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 Yeah. So, but we'll get onto that later. But uh, anyway, how are you, Peter? Oh, sorry. Oh, I've got to, uh, uh, should have said, yeah, we're back again. Yeah, back again. Annoying people with the truth. Because a lot of people dislike the truth. Absolutely. So, how are you, Peter? Have I'm, you had I'm a, okay, yeah. How's your week going? Week going Week's well? Week's started off okay, Or are you going yeah. shitty? No, it's going okay. Going okay. <clears throat> Can't complain. Well, it's it's quite nice to have an okay of a week, isn't it, really? Absolutely. When you think about it, but uh, there you go. Get yeah. some stuff done. Absolutely. Well, that's what it's all about, passing a bit of time. I thought I, thought, I woke up this morning, I thought, oh, it seems quiet today. I thought, oh, it's because it's bank holiday, isn't it? It's bank holiday Monday today. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot all about it, actually. Well, Last it's just week, another I day, thought to myself, oh, really, is it Bank Holiday Monday? I but only found out about it. But it's just another day. Yeah, absolutely, it's just no another different. day. There's no difference at all. Yeah. Isn't it surprising how you get some days that you can't um, stick a label on and call it a day? Because of the... Because of the, the because it the feels air, like the a... Mood. Yeah, it feels like a non-day. Oh, right, well, yeah. It doesn't feel like a Monday. It doesn't feel like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Oh, well, yeah, because you can tell Saturdays. You can tell Saturdays because it's got a certain air about, about it. Yeah, about... Like, and Sundays as well. Get, getting out and doing things. Absolutely, yeah. And then, obviously, during the week. But there's certain days where, you know, it just doesn't feel like any day. day. Yeah, non-day. And they, 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 those days are the best days, aren't they, really, when you think about it? 
Well, we, well, I can imagine because that. we, yeah. we're, us humans, are enslaved <clears throat> to the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. To so, act to the calendar. So we're maybe there, should, there should be eight days of the week: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Absolutely. Well, the Beatles apparently they um, lobbied for eight days a week. Oh, did they? Yeah, they did. I don't think they got very far, mind you. But... Well, they got high up in the charts for that one, didn't they? Yeah. So there was popularity with it. Support, sure. Had support with it. Yeah, that was after a hard day's night, though, wasn't oh, it? Oh, right, yeah. 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 So uh, so there we go. But uh, anyway, so um, what yeah, are we going to do? Talk, talking about uh, uh, 60s. 60s. <clears throat> for C, um, uh, there's been uh, another British pop legend who's been uh, a pop accused of... Accused of uh, I'm not sure whether it's rape or, mm. or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and who, I was trying who to may find, that be? I was, I was trying to find out who it was because apparently they, they've got anonym, anonymity. Oh, right, so they, okay. They, they, newspapers can't publish his name. So you think, well, where where's best to go on to get... And then you think, well, chat forums kind of thing. Cause no, no word, gossip. The gossip, yeah. Gossip, so gossip. I went on some... Um, I went on a, some football supporters kind of sites, you know. Yeah, yeah. After doing a Google search, and like people were typing in, "Oh, the green green grass of home," Tom Jones. Well, that's that's what some people were. Uh, oh right, yeah, possibly, yeah, possibly. Yeah, you 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 don't you meet people and you you haven't a clue what they do, what they get up to in their or private what they, lives, what they've gotten up to, or what they've gotten up to. Yeah, absolutely, in the past, yeah. <clears throat> But there we go. That's uh, human beings. They're bred in a certain yeah. way to behave in the way that they do. So all I can say to that is, is my, 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 Delilah. Absolutely, yeah. But it's not unusual, is it? Well, that's you what know. they say. It's not unusual. Absolutely. For these anyway, things to happen. Now, we've got uh, we've got quite a lot to get through tonight. Well, so we best get on. So we best get on. Well, let's start with the top of the list. <laughs> now, let's start. Add a bit of excitement, a bit of thrust, a bit of... Bit of uh, Bit of <laughs> Iron Man, bit, bit or should I say Iron Brew? Iron Brew, yeah. Because now he's got the yeah, drink, he's got um, Red Bull involved, so it should be Iron Brew. Now I, I was I unfortunately had a little peek of a newspaper this last last week. Sorry, because we're Monday, aren't we? That's a crime. Last week. That's a crime <laughs> against sensibility. Sure, and there was an article concerning a guy called Robert Browning. Richard, sorry, Richard Browning. Mm who is dubbed the Iron Man, the real-life Iron Man. Oh, right, well, yeah. And if anyone's seen the, the Iron Man films... Yeah. This guy goes comes nowhere near him. Absolutely. So we've got the uh, the Telegraph. There's science. Look, science, you know, it's under the, in, the, in the section of science. science. Oh, right, well, yeah. British military interested in Iron Man flying suits. Really? It's a flying suit. Is it really? Yeah. And so there's. But it's not. How can that be a suit? Can you maximise make the pictures, images bigger? Uh, yeah, I can make them bigger. There we go. How can that be a suit? He's just wearing protective, over uh, gear. Clobber, clobber, clobber. And he's putting on his. Well, it's, sa it's safety workwear, isn't it? Yeah, really? it's safety workwear. It's health and safety requirements. And so, how can that be a, a flying suit? Because the suit isn't flying, is it? Well, no. Well, the suit's not flying. But uh, and the the jets, the small jets that he has on his forearms and his his bum, they're they're attached to the suit. Right. So so you put the suit on, and then you attach the jets. Right. Yeah. So it's not essentially a flying, flying suit. suit. It's just a man dressed up in um, protective gear. And, well, uh, well, yeah, what would you actually describe it? It's, it's not an Iron Man suit. No, it's not an Iron it's Man suit. It's not a suit. suit. It's not a flying suit. No, it's a load of bollocks. All it is, he's got a safety Iron Man helmet. But they're dubbing it the Iron Man flying suit. You know, soon be <clears throat> but, selling but it is, on eBay. This is, this is one of the things that these globetrotters just can't get their heads around. And that is man, hype, sop, even a turd. Absolutely. To be fantastic. Abso absolutely, yeah. There's so much bollocks, especially in absolutely. newspapers. That they'd hype up because it's gone. Something a snail moving. Oh, they'd hype that up. 
you know, they'd say, yeah, the, the snail reached the maximum speed of blah, 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 you know, just to make oh, it right, yeah. a hype. But when you hit reality, and if you faster were... Faster than a pebble. It yeah, moved faster than, than a pebble. pebble. Yeah, or something like that. And you, you, you'd look at the video and think... You'd, you'd think, well, hit, let's hit rock bottom reality here. And you think, well, it's just move, slow moving, isn't it? It's not, yeah. it's not fast, but yeah, no. it's, the, it's the way they do it. It's, it's you know, it just gives this impression. You, what, you watched this on YouTube, didn't you? And some people were leaving the comments about how fantastic this was. <laughs> well, a lot of, some people were saying that it, it doesn't fly. He's not flying. He's essentially hovering. Well, yeah, that's all he's doing, really, isn't it? Because he only tests this out, and he's got obviously gone over the world, because this, these photos of, uh, are in Vancouver. So he's obviously travelled all over the globe. Well, uh -uh. Travelled all over the earth, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And he's demonstrated yeah, that's a crime this. Against that's I know, yeah, crime I, 40, against... I think 40 lashings. Yeah, well, I think so, <laughs> too. <laughs> oh, no, I'm oh, no. Yeah. It's crime but, against yeah. disability, that one. Well, I, everyone but anyways, knows that I fumble me words. This sometimes. guy can only can only go up so high. He goes up about he's not three flying. three feet. He's not flying. He's, he's only just, hovering. He's he hovers and then he moves forward and this, backwards. And this and article: stuff. flying soldiers have been historically confined to science fiction or comic books, but a British inventor may be about to change the course of warfare. Can, now, 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 let's be real now. Let's be realistic. Let's, yeah. let's go into quick, quick, come the on. streets of Aleppo, for example. Yeah. Can you see any of these soldiers wearing all that copper? Yeah. yeah. How are they going to operate any any uh, armament? Weapons. War, weapons. What are they going to do? Absolutely. Going to zap people with their thrusters. Well, yeah, and they've got to think about fuel. You know, the fuel must take uh, an awful lot. Well, I'd, you know. I'd say that, that only, the fuel only lasts for about 20 minutes. I mean, it's, I suppose it's possible. And then you've got to think about the heat being inside that suit. Yeah, no, you know, it's, you it's, just, hot, it's just you get, bollocks. You've got to think about the practicalities of it all. Um, so there we go. But I, I just think it's all just a load of bollocks, really. It's, it's absolute bollocks. Who's been dubbed the Iron Man of Wiltshire? Do you know what I mean? Who'd want to be dubbed the Iron Man of Wiltshire? It's, it's, it's a he's constructed a personal flight, flight suit. But it's not a personal flight suit. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's surprising how, uh, again, newspapers skew uh, the truth, basically, the reality of it. Yeah, I know. And yeah. they dish it out as being, it may as oh, well wow, be. that's it may, awesome. It may oh, as well. wow, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. It, you know, it, this it, is what they want the readers to be like. He and may you, as well. Look at this. It's he, just bollocks. He may as well have designed a Spider-Man suit. Hey, and put some little suckers on the hands absolutely, and the yeah. knees and on the feet. On the feet and climbed a building. And maybe on the elbows. Don't forget the web. And climbed, psst, psst, and climbed. the webs. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <laughs> does whatever a spider can. Spins a web, any size. Overhead. Catches thieves, <laughs> just like dice. Oh, we, oh, this guy, this guy can do. Spider-Man. This, this guy can do. He can patrol the streets. <laughs> oh my! Yeah. Catch criminals! Catch criminals! Oh my! Can you just imagine him going after a oh, criminal? Right, yeah. oh, so a yeah. shoplifter! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's absolute bollocks! I mean, the worst thing is they'll have drones going around the place. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So why do they want all this shit? shit. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's bollocks. just absolute bullshit. Bollocks. bollocks. But but one one good thing is, and that is when you watch, um, when you watch Richard. Um, in action as it were yeah you can see how the suit works because the jets what do you mean the suit works sorry you can see how the the jet the suit work. doesn't work oh All sorry it does the suit protects his body yeah sorry <clears throat> see it's this newspaper you see it's yeah, getting me muddled up but the the jet you can see how the jets work because the jets push on the atmosphere the surrounding masses oh, of the atmosphere yeah, friction and the ground <clears throat> Absolutely, which in turn yeah. causes friction. Yeah, I know. Let's take and it's those frictional forces that push back yeah, that help well, him move. Well, hold on. Take those little little engines off him. Yeah. And let him go up a foot high. Now that would be fantastic. I'm trying to. Uh, what do you? Yeah. What do you mean? I know what you mean, but I try and put it into context so I understand. No, what, you what mean. I'm saying is that would be fantastic if he can 
hover without any propulsion whatsoever. Oh, right, yeah. Now, now, you know I mean? absolutely. now that is Now that something. is news. So now that would be... But there's something like that. It just isn't going to happen. It won't it? happen. Oh. But uh, anyway, so that's all that bollocks over <laughs> with. Yeah, click that one. So all I can say is good luck to uh, Richard. Yeah. And, and uh, Bob now, last now in last the last episode we did, which was science fiction. Oh, by the fiction. way, we, we do need to mention. I'm sure he needs to get some kids in his life. Yeah, but uh, wasting that's, his money. Now we were we did do in last. Oh. Well, something we didn't cover last time when we did the the moon, the transparency of the moon is that we should have it, added yeah. another layer and colorized it to show the transparency absolutely so so i've got a picture of the moon here this is uh, from wikipedia right okay. Okay. i've copied it so it's on my clipboard so i'm gonna i'm gonna edit paste, paste that as new, new image, image. There there's the image dum 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 and see what i'm now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go color to alpha ah let's go let's get the background of the image yeah. there we go okay okay there we go there we go now to show um to demonstrate trans to demonstrate the transparency more yeah uh what we do is we we add a new layer yeah okay and then we bucket fill it let's ensure and then we bucket fill there we go we bucket fill let's go different color let's go red there we go. Let's go red. There we go. Now, if we move this, oh. why won't it do it? It just won't do it. Just no. I, I, I haven't a clue why it would. It did it earlier. I did it fine earlier. There oh, there. Go. I've done it. Thank God. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Now you can see clearly that a lot of the moon. Or behind the moon, you can see the red through it. Absolutely, yeah. Can't you? And that's just one image from. Um, from the, you can from, get any any. You can get any of these. Let's, most of these. Uh, this, now this one's from. Copy. Like, this one's from. Uh, um, NASA. Yeah. Another one from NASA. Another oh, one right, from NASA. Sorry, this one was from Wikipedia. Yeah, there this one's from NASA. Let's do this exactly the same. Um, color to alpha. There we go. It's already done the black for us. There we go. There we go. Add and a new layer. Add a new layer. Okay. There we go. That's fine. Bucket Let's, for a little. Should we do it different color? Today? Let's do it dark green. Dark green. No, you want something that's yeah, green. Out. Dark green. Oh, dark yeah. green. Oh, that one or what? That, that's fine. Let's do it light green. Well, yeah, but light the lighter color will stand out more. So there you go. Now let's just put that. How did we do it? That one ball. There you there. go. Now you can clearly see that the green is behind the image. Absolutely, yeah. To that me, that moon it cannot be solid. That moon cannot be solid, can it? No, it can't. Can. It can't be solid. It can't be solid because the the, <clears throat> the integrity of the moon itself would remain the same. Absolutely, you wouldn't be able to. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't be able, able to see, see the, the background, color, background behind it. Color behind it. You wouldn't be able to do so, it. Yeah. You can't do it if you took a picture of a car. You wouldn't be able to see what's behind it, would you? Absolutely, yeah. Because you wouldn't. Yeah. There's no unless you want to try and do that. I mean, if people think the moon is a solid object, then what I'd really like you to do is take a photograph of a car and try and show me what's behind the car in the image. Oh well, yeah. You know, yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. you, you wouldn't be able to do it. And that proves that, or very clearly demonstrates that, that the, moon the moon is transparent. Is moon. Absolutely. Anyway, so that's. I'm glad we've didn't done that because that, that cleared that up. Well, some people may not have seen it last time. Absolutely, yeah, as well. But it's it's <coughs> nice to add anyway, that little bit. So come everyone on, knows. we've got loads to get through. So we got that one now. Uh, what are we on now then? I um, there we go. Come that. on now. Let's now we're, we're talking about fric very quickly. We were talking about friction. There we go. I know yeah. you don't like yeah. it, and it's going back to the same old, same old well, stuff. We're just going over it and over it. But yeah, but it's nice to it's nice to uh, what's the word? Um, set it in set it in concrete, as it were. Well, th th the main point is that thrust is friction. 
Absolutely. Thrust is fiction. <laughs> yeah, friction, not fiction. Yeah. But we've got we've been on this <clears throat> friction basis. Well, even even this diagram here. Look. This diagram this is lovely. Look. Look at this diagram. Look. look. This is friction basics physics for kids. So if we don't have to be that clever to understand it. Yeah, we don't, but I don't need to The box wants up. to move in this oh, direction. Oh, right, okay, right, in that to and the right. And you have friction in the opposite direction. Oh, right, the friction in the opposite, opposite going yeah. towards so the left. So every action, there is an equal oh, right. and opposite So reaction. if I move that box uh, to the right, will, will a force be applied no, in the friction, opposite friction, direction. Friction will be applied in the opposite direction. Yeah, a force. Yeah. I mean, it's so commonsensical. So, essentially, if you've got a column of air moving... In one direction. In one direction, you will have... Air. By virtue of known natural... Balancing. Balancing uh, Newtonian physics... You will have an opposing force acting on that column of air. Absolutely, the undeniable. Undeniable. You've got to. Undeniable. You've got to have that, and, and that is friction. Friction in gases. It does actually say here, friction only happens with solid objects, and yet you and me would think, no, that's that's, the, that's bullshit. Problem. Yeah, but you do, do get, get resistance, resistance to motion in both liquids and gases, yes. and if if you carry on here, it says. If the gas is air, this is referred to as air resistance, but air resistance is a type of friction. friction absolutely. You know, they're really but it says skewing this things. This doesn't here. involve sliding surfaces like friction does, but is instead the kind of resistance you get if you try to push your way through a crowd. crowd. It's a colliding it's situation. situation. But now but yeah, but you can have friction even on a surface that is parallel. But a slide, but uh, uh, but even a sliding surface is, uh, you could still have someone um, trying to push their way through the edge of a crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got the sliding surfaces there, haven't you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Rather than being pushing your way through the middle of a. Crowd. Well, but it's like if you've got water running through a pipe, for example. There's friction. On there's the side. friction on between the pipe the surface of the pipe and the water which because and that friction wants to slow the water down. down absolutely you know that's friction and because but the water is running parallel to the surface yeah i know isn't yeah. it you know i mean it makes common sense you and you and i seem to understand this stuff more than what these people what well, globe trials express it or put it forward they put it forward in well, a very convoluted give, way don't they, they give shitty uh they do explanations because this is <coughs> no, not excuse me. Uh, examples, examples. They confuse people. They skew the true meaning of stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, a great example to highlight this is you don't need to read read all that. Yeah. That's all nonsense. A great example of this is th is thrust. Yeah, go on. Then. Now I've I've wanted to do this for for a you few want to make years. The text now. bigger. Yeah, so people can read this. Yeah, I've wanted to do this for a number of years because I've I've omitted it. Now this is Wikipedia's thrust page, okay? Now it says thrust is a reaction force described quantitatively by Isaac Newton's second and third laws. Why is it quantitatively? Well, because they can measure it. That's why it's quantitative. Right, okay. But the thing is thrust <sighs> thrust in certain respects, is a reaction force, but it's also an act, active force. Because it causes a reaction. Because it causes a reaction. When a system expels or accelerates mass in one direction, the accelerated mass will cause a force of equal magnitude, but opposite direction on that system. Now, that whole sentence there shouldn't be there. Mm. Because... That, well, so it's just the way you interpret it, though. Well, well, no, not really, because that's this this whole this um, this sentence has come from NASA. Has been referenced from NASA. So when a system expels or accelerates mass in one direction, yeah. e.g., gases going out of the nozzle yeah, of a but, rocket, but that isn't exactly explaining where the, the force is applied. Where the force, like it, it says, the accelerated mass will cause a force of equal magnitude. But opposite direction on that system 
in what direction on that system? No, oh, the opposite direction of where the accelerated mass is moving. That yeah. direction. Yeah, so if you're chucking out um, hot gases out the end of a rocket, yeah, yeah. the air, you're going to have a reaction on the end of it. Sure, but all I'm saying to you is that this sentence here shouldn't be there because it's bollocks. Because really, it should read, thrust is a force applied on a surface in a direction perpendicular or normal to the surface. Yeah. To, that. to a surface. Force and thus thrust is measured. That's what it should read. But the force is uh, a, when the system expels or accelerates mass. So force. When, yeah. So when a system expels or accelerates mass on a surface in a direction per perpendicular or normal to the surface, it is called, called thrust. thrust. Yeah, that's what it ought to read. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And yet, to me, that's just a clear skewing of yeah, the understanding that, of thrust. That, that, and that to, footnote uh, is, is... That footnote from is, NASA. is from NASA. And that page, believe it or not, this page is this brings you onto this page here. Now, when you look at this diagram, this diagram is absolute bollocks. bollocks yeah. It really is. The arrow for drag should be at the front of the airplane. Yeah, because the drag is the air resistance. Because the, that's where the drag is acting on. It's acting on the front of the aircraft. Yeah. It doesn't really act on the back, does it? And the thrust, this red arrow here, should be behind the engines, the jet engines, because yeah. the thrust is the force that's coming out, out. of yeah, those know, yeah. engines. It's a, it's just a skew but of if you, reality but like to said, get people to think but that like rockets said, work in space. When if, they you don't. Were, if you were sword fighting, you would thrust forward, but then oh, you're adding the word but you'd, forward. Yeah, but you'd be pushing. Oh, well, yeah, pushing. So yeah. the jet engine pushes hot gases out oh, the back. Yeah. yeah, it's a load of, it's, it's a load of bollocks. <clears throat> All that is just purposeful bollocks. Yeah, so is that, was there anything else you wanted to pick up on that? Uh, not on that, but <clears throat> we'll go back on to this. We're back on, we're still on NASA here, you know. So you're more still bullshit. on rocket principles. Yes, yeah, because it's, it's just all bollocks. You know, I've been discussing how the, how the balloon, why the balloon car didn't move. And people can't grasp it. And people, I, I was talking to one guy and I said it's friction. And I said, where, he said to me that air against air doesn't give you friction. You don't cause friction. And I'm saying, well, where's your evidence? Where's your evidence for that? And he yeah, says, right. I don't have any. There isn't any. And I said, well, how can my claim still stands then. If you've got no evidence, you know, my claim still stands. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, when you think about a column of air, why it's it's a mass that will act on another mass. You've By virtue of Newton, you've got to have a reaction. Absolutely, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's just... But... Um, this is this is just more bollocks. This is it's just absolute crap. Um, we know that the um, yeah, well, just, this balloon just, stuff just, is just bollocks. focus on the on the bits. But the that points that are to. quite interesting because um, they talk about Newton's laws of motion. Okay. Yeah. This this bit about this is good. Um, first law of motion. Yeah. The, Newton's first law. This law of motion is just an obvious statement of fact. There you go. Where obvious. Objects at rest will stay at rest, and objects in motion will stay in motion in a straight line unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Force. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. And then blah. they talk about rest and motion can be thought of as being opposite to each, each other. other. Rest yeah. is is the state of an object when it's it not, not changing, changing in relation, relation to, to its, its surroundings. surroundings. Yeah. Sure. Blah, blah, blah. But but then they say here, but then they say motion is also, also a relative, relative term. term. It says all matter in the universe is moving, moving all, all the time. time, so nothing is in rest. So absolutely, if all matter in the universe is moving all the time, how can you have rest? rest. You can't. You can't. It doesn't even yeah, exist. But, yeah, but we covered that. Yeah, I know. But in it's in the inertia. But then there, it's like a double negative there. But on that thing, and they, even you picked up something on this, wasn't it? And that oh, is, uh, something about being balanced. Yeah, uh, yeah. You've got this. Um, you've got this thing here. It says here in rocket flight, <clears throat> forces become balanced and unbalanced all the time. A rocket on the launch pad is balanced. Yeah. 
the surface of the pad pushes the rocket up so they're admitting that the surface pushes up on the rocket yeah. while gravity tries to pull it down as the engines are ignited the thrust from the rocket yeah so what they're saying is is that they're going they're saying that the thrust acts acts oh sorry there's a picture on here the thrust doesn't act in that direction there yeah it, acts, it acts down down yeah where the thrust force is applied yeah i know yeah you know it it's a it's just a skew of uh they don't know what they're talking they don't know what they're, they're talking about they're getting lost in their own nonsense absolutely the thrust from the rocket um yeah as the engines are ignited the thrust from the rocket unbalances the forces and the rocket travels upwards but you had a little take on it and you actually said that but it can't be it, there isn't an unbalance there's there. no in if depending you, you on your perception yeah an unbalance in nature absolutely nature always cancels out unbalances everything's in balance so everything is balanced yeah absolutely yeah so when the rocket fires there's a balanced nature like it's like nature abhors a vacuum kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah if there's an imbalance it will it will ensure that there instantly is, it will sh ensure that there's a balance it, there. instantly yeah i mean it's like who what came first the chicken or the egg really isn't it did the balance come first then the unbalance then the balance again absolutely yeah i mean yeah. It, it's just essentially it's just a philosophical debate debate you but know you, but that word <clears throat> unbalanced doesn't need to be there it doesn't need to be there at all you know yeah. anyway but it's just there to uh I'm sure there was something here that I wanted oh, to, no. but I can't. For the time being, we will skip the second law and go to the third law. Yeah, for the time being, yeah, we'll skip that. That's, yeah. the, that's the main one. The and then law. they just talk about bollocks there. Yeah, it says it, <clears throat> this one might one be interesting. One of the most commonly asked questions about rockets right. is how they can work in space, space where there is nowhere for them to push against. Yeah. See, they're even agreeing that they need to push against the air. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. The answer to this question comes from the third law. Yeah, there you go. Imagine a thing... And they give the skateboard, which is... is a skate bollocks. Imagine the skateboard. On the ground, the only part air plays in the motion of the rider and the skateboard is to slow them down. So they're actually admitting there that the air slows, slows them, them down. down. Yeah. So therefore, because the air slows them down, you've got air resistance. Air resistance is a type of friction. Friction, yeah. So, you know, Moving through the air causes friction, or as scientists call it, Drag. drag absolutely moving through the air causes friction there you go yeah. so what um if air's moving through air it will cause, cause friction. friction absolutely especially if you've got a com column of air that's moving at high speed absolutely you know i mean it's just uh all the, and then you get all these equations and this is classic isn't it this one oh this cannon this cannon yeah um uh to to explain this law uh, f equals ma i believe we will use an old style cannon as an example. Now it's yeah. only an example, but when the cannon is fired, an explosion propels a cannonball out the open end of the barrel. It flies a kilometer or two to its target. At the same time, the cannon itself is pushed backward a meter or two. This action and reaction at work, third law, the force acting on the cannon and the ball is the same. What happens to the cannon and the ball is determined by the second law. Look at the two equations below. Blah blah blah. Now they can't use this to describe um, describe how a rocket works. Absolutely, because they're they're you have there's <clears throat> solid masses between the explosion. Well, you've got a charge. charge. You've got an explosion, yeah. haven't you? That's <clears throat> contained within a barrel, essentially. Yeah, I know. And one end of the barrel sealed off. Absolutely, essentially. And Whereas, a rocket is only uh, uh, rocket doesn't work like that. It's not an explosion. It's more of a burn. burn. It's more of a burn. Combustion. Combustion. Yeah. An explosion is continued different. burn. Because they say let's apply this principle to a rocket, and yet they're applying the cannonball to a rocket. Replace the mass of the cannonball with the mass of the gases being ejected out of the rocket engine. Okay. But you can't do that. Replace the mass of the cannon with the mass of the rocket moving in the other direction. But you can't do that because the cannon's fixed to the ground or yeah, it's on the ground yeah i know yeah. it's touching the ground yeah they're they're applying the same understanding to rockets whereas you can't you can't do it you it's just bollocks, it. bollocks isn't it yeah <clears throat> they're, they're, they're uh, purposely <clears throat> skewing things and that's just bollocks anyway 
But that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, that's that one. That's it. Yeah, so I bollocks. can I can click that off because that's bollocks, and uh, <sighs> we can click that click off because that's bollocks. Click that. And off. we can click that off because that's bollocks. And that one. Physics and we can kids. click that off yeah. uh, because that's pretty Brain, true. Yeah. Well, well, that well, is that's that's pretty true, really. Fiction. That is All fiction. That. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, that's why that rockets work. Absolutely. Um, but we're now on um, our. Um, no, let's just cover. Um, should we cover Hannibal? Yeah, Hannibal the cannibal. Hannibal, cannibal. Yeah. Hannibal. Now yeah, we, we watched this documentary. Uh, we watched this documentary. Yeah. History: Hannibal versus Rome. Full, yeah. documentary. full documentary by the history now, guy. Without going to, into it in too much detail, <laughs> we think this is a load of bollocks. Yeah, we think this is a load of bollocks. The whole, the whole. The story, the story of, of Hannibal, Hannibal crossing the Alps with, with all his elephants, elephants and all his men is a load of bollocks. Bo absolute bullshit. He may have skirmished around the Alps. It's possible. I don't know, but all I'm saying, all I'm thinking, but trekking over the Alps, three thousand feet. Up. He trekked all the way from Spain. Yeah, with from Spain with twenty five thousand men. Or was it forty? Well, between those figures, figures vary. Right. Between twenty five and forty thousand men with how many elephants? <coughs> how many elephants do you have? Forty. Is that all? Yeah, forty. Yeah. Forty elephants. Yeah, according to a few web pages so can, I looked at. Can you at, imagine twenty five is forty. Okay. So can you imagine twenty five thousand men? Yeah. and forty elephants. You get lost with forty elephants would get lost in a mass of twenty five. Absolutely, people, yeah, of course, it? yeah. And we reckon they only use the elephants to carry the supplies. Carry supplies, yeah, that's what I that's think. That's the only they reason use, why they use, use the, the elephants. elephants. Wasn't if, the, to... if the story is true, of course. Absolutely. But do, do you know the worst thing about it all? The worst thing is, is that um, when they, after only one elephant allegedly um, survived oh. the trek through the Alps. Well, they were probably, because this is another thing. Because this, I don't know how long it actually took them. Because nobody actually tells you how long. Absolutely, yeah, of course. But they went. I'm sure they went during the winter time. They went during the winter time, yeah. So it must have taken about four months. Because he wanted to do a surprise attack on yeah. Rome. Three, four months, say. So they need food, water. Twenty-five. Twenty for twenty. Uh, no, Twenty-five. Let's get real now. Let's get real. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Yeah, absolutely. The size yeah. of a small town. Size of a small, small town. town. Absolutely. Yeah. Twenty-five thousand yeah. people all want. Fed, all need feeding and watering. Keeping warm as well. And I mean, the climate warm. in winter time over the Alps must be, uh, you know, so very cold indeed. How know? could they have? Because some of them even they mentioned in the documentary that a lot of them had frostbite as well. Oh, and, well, and yeah. a lot of men died on the on the journey. On the journey, yeah. Well, you know, <clears throat> and then you so you think well, they, you could imagine that they probably ate some of the elephants. Oh, absolutely, yeah, of course. For food, because they ran absolutely, out of food. Absolutely, yeah. Because you only need seven days to go Yeah, you go could without probably food. eat the elephant. Maybe they had elephant burgers. Oh, well, yeah, possibly, you know, yeah. made some elephant burgers. But the interesting part, another interesting part I found in this documentary, and that is, this isn't exactly... Oh, well, yeah, when he got into <clears throat> northern Italy, he had his first skirmishes with the Roman army. Yeah, he had a, had a few skirmishes with the Roman army and then marched with his troops... Past Rome, down to around this area here, to a place Canae, called Canae, 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 and did a massive battle, and then went back to Rome, went back up to Rome. Yeah, it and I'm make thinking, sense. Why would you do that? Yeah, if your target is Rome, you'd go straight. There. You'd go straight there. Why would you want to go like I don't know what the distance is between because Canae is around there. You know what's the distance there? You know, I mean, it's. You know, it's just bollocks. Bollocks, absolute bollocks. And the, the absolute and bullshit. The, the thing yeah. is with this story is that they herald Hannibal such a great leader. Absolutely, yeah, of course, because he fought this battle of Cannae, Cannae, um, yeah, up against eighty thousand Roman soldiers. Was it? Yeah, yeah, about eighty thousand. Some, something like, something that, like yeah. that. I'm trying to get this diagram up. Yeah, go on, go for it. Yeah, there's the there's the battle plan. Um, Kind of like layout of Canae. Yeah. You know. So this big block of uh, <coughs> red There's, Roman yeah, this soldiers. Yeah, big block of Roman soldiers, and you've got the cavalry, cavalry. here on either side that happened just happened to run away. Just yeah, that just happened to, to run, run away. away. And then you've got 
um, Hannibal's little army here spread out across the front and you got uh, his cavalry and behind I think were armies, small armies made up of um, um, missionary troops, troops from other oh, right. possibly, clans or yeah, possibly, groups yeah. or tribes or yeah. whatever. And yeah, apparently these, because they just went head on and just attacked each other, didn't they? Well, as the story goes. As the story goes. But the, th the thing is, this was his great triumph, apparently. Yeah. But he eventually goes to Rome. And he tries to attack the city. No, he, well, he was left with an ult ultimatum because he had to return back to Carthage well, because, because the Romans, the Romans were attacking attacking North Africa. So he end, eventually he ended up going back to Carthage. Absolutely, when yeah. he got defeated. <laughs> so all this time, yeah, where been, he got defeated, all this time he's been. Because he spent around. a number of years in Italy. All this you know. time he's been faffing around fighting the Romans. Has, didn't get him anywhere. Didn't get him anywhere at all, you know. It I wasn't mean, worth him actually doing the trip yeah, in know, the first yeah. place. It's, it's crazy, but when you when you watch a documentary like this, they they always have your, their, their all book authors, you know, you know, just because somebody's written a book about, say, Hannibal, you know, you've, oh, he, it oh, makes you uh, think that well, you've got to believe everything. It's got to be correct. All the information this is, uh, in there. This is uh, well, of course, it's this true. Is, this is Richard Browning. The he's a lecturer at uh, Oxford University in history. Absolutely, studying yeah. rocket uh, history. Yeah, yeah. You've got to believe it. This is a rocket documentary. Yeah. All this, bollocks. and they always glitz and glamour it, make it as, as if it was a real event, as if you were, you put were some there. suspense in it, put yeah, some tragedy in it. Feel, you could feel the tenseness. Yeah, put you some could see the blood and, coming dripping yes. down from all these wounded soldiers. Put some jubilation, in and it. yet it's bollocks. Yeah, it's just it's, it's, it's just bollocks. entertainment. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. entertainment. I I certainly have doubts as to Hannibal's. Um, Hannibal crossing the Alps with all his men and those elephants um, um, up three thousand feet, you know, with, during winter time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, I, I know. think it, it's just if he was that uh, great, if it, if it did actually happen, I mean, if it was that great, they would have marked his little trail. There would have been a trail across. Oh the right, because there was the a Hannibal Trail. Oh right, yeah, the Hannibal Trail. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's go on the ha the oh, Hannibal Pass. Yeah. Oh Margaret, darling, do you fancy going on the Hannibal Trail uh, down yes. the French Alps? We're we're off to, we're off on holiday this year. We're going uh, going walk hiking up uh, Hannibal Pass. Hannibal Pass, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's a bit like the Khyber Pass. Pass yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. It's it's just bollocks, isn't it? Absolutely. It yeah. really is. It's, it's just, just another story. Another story to make history more interesting. Fantastical. Fantastical. Absolutely. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, well, yeah, incredible. And the, one of, another thing as well in the documentary, I've got to mention this, and they were 40 elephants. Now, can you imagine the sound of 40 elephants? Oh, well, yeah. Trumpeting away. Trumpeting. Ah! Trump, Trump, Trump. 40 elephants, and the winter time, all that snow... Yeah, avalanches. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, and they even mentioned in the documentary that avalanches were a real risk. No, no, it's just it's, it's but just even not twenty-five thousand men would have made a lot of noise. 20, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, let's get real, guys. Absolutely. You know. Maybe they were all singing a song as they were walking up. What whistle marching while you, up. Or whistle while we work. Whistle while you work. Come on, men, keep your spirits up. <laughs> That's right. Come on, lads, we're out to fight the Romans. We're going and yeah. get them. Yeah. yeah, we won't play all this blue Christmas this year. Yeah, but maybe when we get to Rome, we can sing Roman and. Carthidian live together in perfect, perfect harmony. harmony. Yeah, I know. Absolutely. It's what a load of bollocks, bollocks. <laughs> isn't it? Eh? Hey, Peter, load of bollocks, bollocks. isn't it? Yeah. Eh? But uh, so that's that. Now, where I believe, I think we before we get on to our last and final, our final uh, yeah. instalment, I think we should have a break. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, back again, and very quick yeah. because we're running back out of time, again. aren't we? Didn't know you spoke so, so much. Didn't know what? Didn't realise you spoke so much. Spoke so much. I know. Yeah, I know. Go on forever and ever. You know, talking really passes <clears throat> time. 
Absol- absolutely, it's yeah. Because you're moving, you're moving your... There's a lot of motion going on. Your when arms, you're moving when your When you're mouth. talking. Absolutely. Your jaw's going up and down, you absolutely, know. Absolutely, yeah. Some people are spitting all over the place, you know. It's better to see a, it's better. I actually spat on someone while I was talking today. Did you really? Yeah. You know, I, went, oh, I tried to catch it as it, you know. Oh, right, come well, out. You a few them, drops of saliva. And you slapped them in the face. No, 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 no. I, I was wondering whether she, uh, she, uh, wondered, she, oh, I wondered whether she thought I did it on purpose, you know. What, did you want to get close to her? Oh, no, you've got to be joking. No, no, oh. no. no. Uh, uh, anyway. But anyway, yeah, we're on our last little uh, leg. We're on the last leg. Fingernail. Toenail. <laughs> Arm. Yeah, we're on the last yeah. And this is all about... Um, a Guardian article you read. A Guardian, Guardian article I read uh, a few weeks ago about uh, um, R.D. Lang, who was... Uh, My father... R.D. Lang. He solved other people's problems. But not his own. But not his own. Because the, the story, was, Guardian. The story was about his son. His son, yeah. His, his eldest son, wasn't it, I believe? Um, I'm unsure. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think so, no. But um, anyway, it reads, yeah, he was a pioneering psychiatrist who blamed parents for the psychological problems of their offspring. Well, you get the children you because, deserve. Now, R.D. Lang was a psychiatrist, but he came up with a theory of mental illness mm-hmm. so and uh, so during the 60s when he put forward his theory that basically mental illness is a normal response to an insane society absolutely yeah dysfunctional families um or dysfunctional society or dysfunctional society cause people to act in a certain way, in a normal way, mm. that where the dysfunctional family or dysfunctional society deem them to be mentally ill. Mm. It was a very controversial theory at the time. Um, a lot of people obviously liked it. Well, it was true, wasn't it? And he, be- <clears throat> he did become quite popular. Um, blah, blah, blah. But, um, but the interesting thing about this is that um, R.D. Lang wrote a book called The Divided Self mm. and it really ties in nicely with our own views Divisions of in society well, Labour, Tory Absolutely Well, the div- individuality of life Yeah You know, and you've you've got divisions peop- within individuals there, there are divisions People are, A lot of people are divided. divided Yeah, because not only is society divided on many things On Yeah, absolutely Even <clears throat> the individual themselves even many individuals within society within themselves are, are divided. divided absolutely half half of them comes from the mother half of them comes from the father absolutely and you know when when they're mutated and they come together as a mutation there will be internal conflict whereas if they're within a, the individual yeah whereas if they're a variation whereas if they're a variation there any there will not be any, any division any conflict, Absolutely. internal conflict, and I mean it's really good actually because it's quite um, an interesting article. It's a very it? interesting article, because, even though his, his son was found dead, mind you. Because um, R. D. Lang was a very promiscuous guy, and I think he had about ten kids. Oh right, well, yeah. With yeah. Um, I think more three different three, women. three different women. Uh, blah blah blah. It's hard. To, it's I, a bit of a pisshead as well. Yeah, he was an alcoholic. Um, R. D. Lang was. But it's it's the whole he's he's so right and that is unfortunately society is dysfunctional mm. and the people in it a lot of the people oh because there was the vast majority was... of people in it are dysfunctional because um, some one example of, was that it, there was a patient who we saw who was um, rocking to and fro or whatever. Yeah, he just... And and she was he, naked. Yeah, and what he did, he stripped down. Got naked. Sat next to her and started rocking like well, her. Absolutely. And she started talking to him. Absolutely, because she realised that he 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 was like her. He was the same, same as, as her. her. Yeah. And it wasn't this us and them situation. Right. Yeah. You know, which is very um, blah, blah, blah. Um, it, so it says that if, if they had known, they... Because um, they were talking about... Um, 
I think it's Adam. Yeah, Adam, who he lived on an island. This was R.D. Lang's song. Yeah. Adam lived on an island, but ne- he never talked about his dad. Mm. Okay. Um, so, he, yeah, he never talked about him, says Hector Puig, 47, a handyman. If they had known, they might have been struck by the horrible irony that one of Ronald David Lang's lasting contributions to psychiatry in the 1960s and 70s was linking mental distress to a dysfunctional family upbringing. upbringing. And this is this is very, very, very poignant. Mm. Uh, quote from Lang himself. Uh, from the moment of birth, Lang wrote in 1967, the baby is subjected to these forces of violence called love, as its mother and father have been, and their parents, and their parents before them. Now that echoes... Um, Oh, Philip uh, Larkin. Philip Larkin, yeah. Man, man hands on, on misery to man. man. You know. Then R.D. Lang continues. He says, these forces are mainly concerned with destroying most of its potentialities. potentialities. Yeah. This enterprise is on, on the whole, whole successful. successful. And basically what he's referring to here is that sense of false love destroying the potential for the individual to have true love. Absolutely. A sense of true, true. love in their, within, in their lives. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. It's so, so, so true. Easy. So, you know, once, Simple. Once, this is the good thing. Once you have a good understanding of life, you can apply that bit to it. You can apply that another bit to it. Oh, it all makes sense. Oh, it all makes, makes sense. sense. You know, and it, it's just so, 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 so easy, easy, easy peasy. Because even schizophrenia, you know, Lang theorised that insanity could be understood as a reaction to the divided self. Mm. Instead of arising as a purely medical disease, schizophrenia was thus the result of wrestling with two identities, the identity defined for us by our families and our authentic identity. I would probably disagree with, disagree that. with that. It's just the, 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 con- the internal conflict, conflict between the m- well, parents. Yeah, between the parents. I yeah. mean, if you've got parents who are always fighting, arguing, Bickering. Yeah, the individual will be fighting. The individual will, will be doing exactly the same exactly. internally. Absolutely. They will have that internal conflict, won't yeah. they? I mean, no, no, it yeah. makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? You know, um, but it's, it is a very good, interesting read. I mean, I, to be honest with you, I would recommend this article um, to be read by, by anybody because it's uh, a very, very good article. Very interesting. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, he because R.D. Lang died of a heart attack. Yeah, he died of a heart attack. Oh, his heart broken, really. Uh, heart broken. Yeah, because well, you and you and I both think that uh, both consider um, that ha- any form of heart disease is ha- due to heart heartache or absolutely a ha- heart broken ache. heart. Heart disease is heartache. Heart. Yeah, heart disease is heartache, and a heart attack is heart broken. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, if you have a heart, if you suffer from a heart. Heart attack is because your heart broken. Your heart's broken. broken. Yeah, absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely. You know, it's it's so, and that's and we we've been discussing the heart with uh, a few few YouTubers, a few YouTubers on a certain video, and you know the heart is the, the core, core of human being. Absolutely, yeah, and. The ancient Egyptians, I believe, they used to weigh the heart after somebody had died. To see whether they were good or bad. To see whether they'd been had a good life or a bad life. Because if they were bad, it would have been heavier. It would have been a lot heavier, yeah. yeah. Whereas if they'd have been... It would have been burdened. It would have been burdened with uh, a lot of misery, a lot of pain. Despair. A lot of despair, absolutely. But, um, you know, so it's quite... Uh, it's quite easy to uh, work out. I think that well, I don't think we need to talk about it as much, do we? Well, it's quite a long article. It's, but, it's quite uh, a long article, actually. But you it's know, quite a good read. It's it's just interesting. It's a you're... very interesting read. If you're into psychology and you like a bit of psychology and social problems and family breakdown and all this kind of stuff, this is the read to have because it's very, very, very enlightening. You know, I'm just trying to skim through to see whether there's anything that uh, I think is worth yeah. mentioning. I uh, don't think there's <clears throat> there's a bit here for all for all his for all his inconsistencies. There is little doubt that Lang loved his children. 
Oh, Robert, they always say that. <coughs> Don't know. They always you say think... that. You get, you can get a really violent husband. <sighs> yeah. Or a father, sorry. You get a really violent father. Or an estranged mother. Oh, but <sighs> even though she never saw them for 20 years, she still loves them. Well, this is... You know, I mean, what, what a skewed... Yeah, it's it's like um, it's, to, it's it's always uh, there to give people. Well, it doesn't matter what your parents do to you; they'll always love you. Absolutely, yeah. They can smack them around the face, yeah, but yeah. They're, they'll love you. Yeah, yeah. of course they, they love, love you. you. The, this is a good example because I'm sure Lang. I can't remember exactly what the example was, but Lang did write in one of his books because I did read um, a little bit of one. And he read, he said something like, like the child would go up to the mother and the mother might kind of like smack the child. Mm. Okay. Or something like that. And then the child would say to the mother or ask the mother, you know, you don't love me and all this lot. And then the mother would say, well, of course I love you. And then the, ch but the child's thinking, well, ha if you loved me, why did you smack me? Yeah, no, yeah, it, yeah. You know, it's too contradictory. It's conflicting. It's conflicting. And it's yeah. exactly the same with th that sentence there. <clears throat> well, there that's... is little doubt that Lang loved his children. If he truly loved his children, I mean truly loved his children, he wouldn't have done any of the... Because apparently one, his daughter, he actually... Um, I'm sure he had a little fight with or something. Or oh, right, yeah. He became a little bit violent. Hmm. And, uh, you know, he had, he's had a lot of problems with his children. You know. Yeah, well, it's because he had problems with the with the with his parents, with the, the mother, the mother's, mother's absolutely, yeah. Because he, he could only love half of the children that originally originated from him, yeah. his blood. Well, I think we can we can end on 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 that little sentence there. Yeah, yeah. whether well, life is worth living depends. In one of his on later, me. in one of his later works, the facts of life, Lang wrote, "Whether well, life is worth living depends for me." On whether there is love in life yeah, absolutely and to be honest with that's so true but that is really whether life is worth living depends for me for me on whether there is true love in life absolutely yeah because I'm not false love <laughs> yeah. I thought I was gonna um, like zap off to the other side of the room there with all that thrust coming out there but uh, yeah, very, very, very interesting article. I'm sure yeah. you would agree. I actually did read all of that article. Can you believe it? Well, it's, yeah, but it's quite an interesting. Thing. But it's a uh, but it's a very good, interesting read. So there you go. And I think that wraps up our uh, our instalment for, for today. Tonight, yeah, or for tonight. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. So the only thing that you can you can bring people together. Yeah. With glow birthers or. His love. love, his love in its truest, truest sense. sense. Yeah, that's it. Only, but then, but then everyone would agree that the Earth is flat, then, wouldn't they? But and these got, globers would have got, to. If you got love in your life, realize that it wouldn't matter. <clears throat> well, it wouldn't matter about the shape of the Earth, yeah. would it? You know, I don't mind if you're six feet tall and I'm only four feet eleven. I can, we can still get on. No, I don't mind if you're a Labour uh, MP. And I'm a Conservative MP. I'll still talk to you I don't, and treat you with respect. Absolutely. I don't mind if I'm Welsh and you're English. We can still get on. I don't mind all these immigrants coming over into the country. I don't mind because I have love in my life. Absolutely. I don't have a problem with people. I'm not bigoted. Oh, I can no, tolerate yes, of course. Other people. Yeah. Because I, I have love in my life. I can tolerate other people's views and opinions. I'm, I'm not bothered if people think the Earth's flat at all. You know, it doesn't matter. I don't know. It's, it doesn't matter. It's, 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 it's absolute. But all it shows <coughs> is, is when you think of, when you really do think about it. Yeah. With all the divisions in society yeah. over, however many topics. Yeah, yeah. Shows how little love there is. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. In this country. Or in, in, or in, in over, on the earth, on, on in the people's earth. lives, in people's lives, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that's so true, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, it's mm. like that, oh, mm. that story there. My boyfriend is wonderful and loving, but he has a tiny penis. Yeah, but he has a tiny penis. penis. I mean, who cares? The the penis is only there to insert into a vagina, so that the uh, sperm can reach the egg. That's the purpose. Yeah, but of it. you're only there to have sex. 
We have penetrated so, so sex, children. but it's so small that I feel nothing and I fear that. <laughs> if he's to be my life partner, I may never again enjoy sex in quite the same way. Why haven't they got a photo of his penis? I don't know. Of his small penis? You know. It's just bollocks. Well, the, the, to be honest with you, the whole story could just be bollocks. Yeah, You've absolutely. got Pamela Stevenson Connolly. Oh, isn't that Pamela? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, Billy is Connolly, a psychotherapist who specialises in treating sexual, sexual disorders. disorders. Well, maybe she should be seeing the people who masturbate. And no, really, what she should be saying to this person abuse kids. That, what she should? Well, yeah, she should be and have sex with old people, she should dead be people, bestiality, bestiality. These yeah. are the people she, she should be, be seeing. seeing. Yeah, you know, not, not wasting her time on on this. But you'll never get an art. You'll never get an article in it. Um, um, my, like, boy, my boyfriend uh, has, has been having sex with his dog. Yeah, my boyfriend has been having sex with his dog. Yeah, yeah. He loves. He tells me he loves. He loves his dog more than me. You know. No, I know. Yeah. Or, or um, my my husband's been been um, having sex with my daughter. Yeah. You know, you you will not get any of the the real hardcore oh. truth of reality of behavior of human behavior. Yeah. You don't get it. All you get is bollocks like this. Human behavity. <laughs> behavity. Behavity, is that a word? I don't, no, I don't think so. Oh, well, well, it could be a word if well, you want, well, you want to make, make it a word. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I know what you meant. Yeah, behaviorality. Yeah. Behaviorality. Yeah. Behavior. Behavior. Yeah, behavior. Behavior, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, reading all, all of these is just... Because all she should be replying to is, is look, sex is only for, to have children with. That's what you should be... Yeah, realizing. And the worst thing is, since you're on it, it says here, since you're on it, we've got a small favour to ask. More people are reading the Guardian than ever, but far fewer are paying for it. Advertising revenues across the media are falling fast, and unlike many news organisations, we haven't put up a paywall. We want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. They're getting just like a charity, aren't they? It's bollocks, isn't it? And yet yeah. they're re they're producing stories so like this. Yeah, and then who wants to pay stories. for any of this yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know I mean, it's bollocks, yeah, isn't it? All of it is bullshit. You've even got comments, comments as yeah. well. Do you know what I mean? You know, I'm not going to read all of them. Oh, oh, was that oh, like but, cucumber? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Failing that by a cucumber. No, you won't find perfection, but if physical intimacy is, is high on your list of relationship needs and you just can't get it from this man, then you have some hard questions we'll to ask from another man. about what you would like from a potential lifelong partner and what you might end up regretting and ultimately resenting. Yeah, small, some might say the willies. size of his penis is a shallow thing. Yeah. Pun not intended. Oh, of course, yeah. To focus on. But every individual is different as to what matters to them. And who is to say that feeling filled, filled, whoa. Oh, it shouldn't be important to you. The question is, does this outweigh again? Pun not intended, but it's kind of hard to avoid this sort of <laughs> oh, right. yeah. Just buy a cucumber. Yeah. yeah, stupid. Yeah, I know. It's stupid. Yeah, but it's you might stupid. find that the story is just made up. Yeah, absolutely. It's just bollocks. I mean, I could, I could, I could, I could write an article about that. I don't know, I, or, you know, I can write a similar story for the Guardian. So, I mean, my, my girlfriend's clitoris is too tight. Mm. You know. My girlfriend hasn't got a clitoris. Do you know what I mean? I use the arse instead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know, you, you really got to, you know. But uh, there you go. Anyway, that's it. Over and done and dusted, I think, for today. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, so. Uh, I've got to get this right because last time I ballsed up last time. Oh, well, so we've got to get this right. So, <clears throat> so till next time, always remember if something doesn't make sense, like, like, Han like, like Hannibal going crossing the Alps with 25,000 men and 40 elephants. F 40 elephants, 40 yeah. elephants. And uh, uh, during winter time, during winter. Three, at an altitude of about 3,000 3, feet. feet. Yeah. And uh, most of them died anyway, you know, yeah. to fight the Romans. Uh, yeah. You know, it's got to be, that, yeah, sure. Yeah. And um, the thrust, the thrust on a rocket, you know. Doesn't go forward. Yeah, yeah. Thrust doesn't doesn't go forward. Thrust goes backwards. Or well, the nonsense that thr thrust goes forward. Sure. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the thrust moving it's forwards. Yeah, yeah, that is yeah, the uh, what else did we do today? <laughs> yeah. And the moon being a solid rock as well. Absolutely. Being a solid thing, you know. Yeah.
that sort of spinning around, around you know yeah. That we, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And there's that. And, and the, Richard the Browning, Iron, the, the Iron, Iron Man. Man. Yeah. yeah. The Iron Brew Man, you know. He should be, he should, he should, yeah, it shouldn't yeah. really be the Iron Man. It should really be the, uh, uh the lead, al- lead the, man. The, the aluminium man. The aluminium man. Or the nylon man. The nylon man. Yeah, Cause he's wearing, weird, yeah. really wearing a nylon suit, isn't he? I'm, I'm unsure. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm unsure what the material of the suit is made of. Well, it's probably got some, or, or even having a, Flying suit. Oh, right, a flying suit, yeah. A flying suit, suit yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Should have, should be called. Uh, well, so we got, yeah, and I think, um, and, um, people being whole. Oh, United. You, yeah, I've United. Got that, I and there's no divisions. Why call, why call football teams like Manchester United? Yeah, yeah. When people aren't united in any way. Um, well, this is true. Well, it, no, sorry, people aren't united in yeah. in in a material kind of way, in a man's world kind of way. They're not united. Is that not how can you have Manchester yeah. United when yeah. you think the whole of Manchester should be supporting that team because they're united? But you've you got Manchester United, and you've got, you got Manchester City. City. So why why? So there's not a, there's not a there's there's a division. There. There's a division, isn't there? So, so how, how can they call themselves the, Manchester United? Absolutely, yeah. United? Sure. Sure. Well, there you go. There's another bit, another of, bit uh, of bollocks. Another bit of bollocks. bollocks yeah. um, United football teams. Absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. you've got Sheffield United, just, Sheffield just, Wednesday. Oh, Because right, they yeah. couldn't play on a Thursday. <laughs> that's why. You know, so they had to call themselves Sheffield <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. So that's the only time they could get the ground oh, open. Oh, that's the only time they could use the same ground. Oh, right. On yeah. Wednesday. I, I was on a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Great one. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, it's nonsense, absolutely. Yeah. So um, thanks ever so much, Peter, for your uh, presence yeah. this evening. Yeah, you're welcome. It's been wonderful, and uh, thank you ever so much for that cup of coffee you yeah, made me earlier. Get, get on and eat my Snickers. Absolutely, of course. Anyway, till the next time. Which obviously, I'm sure they renamed Snickers bars from from Marathon because yeah. it has connotations of knickers. Nick- knickers. It's yeah. possible, yeah. yeah. I was thinking about the birds. Spants. I can, I'm going to eat my spants, but... I was thinking of um, the small birds called tits. Oh, blue tits. Like blue tits yeah. and uh, cr- great crested tits, tits, are they called? Yellow tits. Yellow, oh, I don't know what they're called. Anyway. Yeah. But tits, you know, yeah. I mean, what a, what a name to call a bird. You know, tits. Well, they were probably the blue at, tit. Well, someone, tit. someone was, I don't know, there's a tit over there. Yeah, someone was probably, you know, looking, I mean, it's bollocks. Someone tit. was probably looking through a pair of binoculars and saw this bird. <clears throat> but it was, there was a woman there and he was saying to his mate, oh, look at the tits on that. Absolutely. Yeah. And he was course, thinking yeah. it was uh, referring to, to a, a bird. Small bird. Oh, that's yeah. a good name for a bird, that is. Absolutely. Tits. Yeah. So it's a bit like when you're looking through your telescope and you see Uranus up there, you know, and you think, oh, yeah. yeah. But you're really and, looking and through, uh, you're really looking through the, uh, um, your neighbour across the road, you know, yeah, bending look, over. Look at you that know. Uranus over there. Absolutely, yeah, of course. Waiting anyway. for a small willy to go, uh, oh, well, yeah, you know, into, yeah. into inserted. It, being inserted. Absolutely. Yeah. An yeah. RD Lang to pop up and say, you know, look, you're only doing what you're doing because you dis- you've come from dysfunctional <laughs> families. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, see you later then, Peter. Cheers then, Pete. Bye. Ta da. The Earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat, everywhere it's flat.